Hello guys and welcome to another video tutorial on how to set up and play online CTR. So a new version has recently dropped, basically um, this morning for uh, us uh, Europeans, uh, specifically mo me that I'm Italian, and uh, it basically uh, fixes um, the last issue that uh, DuckStation uh, gave uh, online CTR, which is removing Pine support, uh, f which for online CTR was quite essential to work. Uh, now with this new launcher, with this new update, um, they simply removed uh, the requirement for Pine and uh, it basically should work for everyone uh, from here on uh, onward. So, uh, as you can see, I already made a new uh, folder uh, with the free uh, files that we need. So, as for the previous tutorial, we need an unpatched American CTR ROM that you can recover by dumping the original game uh, that you have to possess. Um, a American BIOS, this one, and the launcher itself that you can download in the description. Okay, or if you join the official online CTR Discord, you will find all of this in the description down below. So, what you want to do. I didn't explain how to extract in the previous tutorial, so I'm gonna show you now. So what you wanna do is either, if you have Windows 11 like I do, all you have to do is simply left click on the, on the launcher, right click and then extract all. You, you're seeing it, this in Italian, okay, but there's an extract all. You click on this and then it asks you where you want to uh, actually save the new folder. Uh, just select wherever you want to save it. I'm going to do it in the same folder that I created just now, this one. Select folder, and as you can see, the, the path has changed now, uh, which it points directly to this folder here. And then it asks you if you want to actually see the files that you extracted at the um, when the operation is ended. Uh, I'm gonna uncheck it uh, because we are gonna see it anyway. And then you go here where it says extract, and there you go. Now it create all the files that were in the into launcher are now here. So what you wanna do is create another folder, call it launcher. Oh, whoops, a little typo. Launcher. There we go, and then you just drop everything inside data as well. There you go. Oh wait, I dropped the, the bin as well. Never mind. Okay, and there you go. Now you have all the files for the launcher directly into the launcher folder. Or if you don't have Windows 11, you can uh, download any program that extracts, uh, which is either WinRAR, I have WinRAR, or you can download 7-zip, uh, anything like that, okay? So what you want to do in that case is just left click twice and it opens WinRAR, okay? Then you go on extract to and then it asks you uh, where you want to actually extract. It already creates uh, like uh, a folder for you in the same uh, folder that the, um, the zip is. So you just go OK and there you go it extracted automatically here, okay? So I'm gonna need only one of this, so I'm gonna uh, delete the previous one. So now you're gonna do is go into launcher v0.3 uh, and then open the executable, okay, launcher. You double click on this and it should appear like this. Okay, so as you can see, uh, differently from the previous version of the launcher, this is um, much more simplistic. Uh, it just asks you for a username, a BIOS path, and a game path, okay? Uh, this is the old version of the launcher that used to exist prior to the last update. Uh, this is why it looks like this. So we're gonna name ourselves test. Then the bi uh, BIOS path, which is desktop, new line CTR uh, and then you select the bin itself okay then you you go to open and there you go now you have the path that directs itself uh, to the bin now you have to select the game path again same thing left click on the ROM then you go open and there you go now the game path is here after this 
as you can see down below, there's two buttons. One that you cannot click is launch game, obviously. The other is update. The launcher itself will uh, actually, you know, uh, advise you to update because there's a new uh, patch available. So you just go on update and it will start downloading things. Uh, it'll, it'll download a separate instance of DuckStation that will work specifically for, um, for online CTR. Uh, it might take some time, depending on your uh, <laughs> connection. Mine is quite bad, so <laughs> it requires a bit. Okay, now it goes uh, like on downloading the client, which is essential uh, for uh, connecting to the internet. And everything else, there you go. Now you go on launch game. And the new versions of DuckStation actually have this setup wizard. Um, what I'm about to tell you is just uh, obviously choose the language you want. I'm gonna leave English for now. Otherwise, if I want, there's Italian, there's French, Spanish, uh, German, etc. So you go next. Oh, obviously, you can also choose the theme. Uh, I'll leave this for now. Uh, you also want to uncheck this because um, DuckStation likes to actually re release a lot of constant updates and we do not know if like next updates uh, will actually break something uh, for online CTR. So just uncheck this, okay? Uncheck it. There go, then go next. And it's going to ask you where to pick the BIOS. Again, you need to select the path where the BIOS is. So we're going to actually go again. Desktop. New online CTR patch test. And the BIOS itself is here. So you just select this folder. And there you go. Now it says auto detect. Leave it like this. Okay. It's not going to change anything. Next. Game directories. If you want, you can add like more game directories. I'd say don't and leave this uh, void. Okay, don't put anything here. Next, uh, of of course, yes. Uh, you sure you want to continue? Yes. Now it's asking you which type of controller you want to set up. I have a third-party switch controller that works on PC as well. So I'm gonna leave analog controller. You can also put a digital controller if you don't wanna use um, you know, the analog sticks. Or you're gonna put analog joystick or whatever. You, you have a lot of options, okay? Then, if you want, you can do an automatic uh, mapping. Just go, as you can see, it um, recognizes my controller as an Xbox 360 controller. So I'm gonna do this. And now it should automatically um, set up the buttons for me. Okay. Port 2 has to be not connected. Under any circumstances, this has to be not connected. Okay. Then click next, finish, and now this is going to open by itself. Okay. Now, uh, you want to reopen this because uh, every time uh, you do the first launch, it's not going to work. So you got, you're just going to close everything, then reopen the launcher. Okay, launch game. Let's wait for the client to do anything. Okay, and there we're in. We're in. Now, another important thing. Uh, another important thing, sorry. Uh, just like uh, the previous version of Online CTR, uh, there might be an issue where you might uh, not be able to launch the game itself. It just keeps on saying uh, C, client, uh, blah, blah, blah. So what you're going to do is go to settings, go to advanced, and then you just scroll down to export shared memory. Check this only if you cannot enter the game. Like if the client keeps on uh, giving problems, say you just cannot get in check this okay check this like this okay and then press close okay now it's working i'm gonna actually change some buttons because i have a switch controller so some buttons are actually screwed okay okay now we're good and let's test let's test to see if this works 
let's oh okay so this is important uh, this new version actually did a lot of new stuff so they added uh, items which is a new thing they added a retro fueled version which is basically similar to nitro fueled you know crash team racing nitro fueled that is on uh, newer console no newer consoles uh, what it does is simply uh, transforming every turbo pad in every track to a super turbo pad. Okay, and you get USF speed, basically. Uh, and also, when you U turn or uh, you know uh, air brake or do a U turn on the ground, you do not lose any reserve. Okay, so basically, it's ex essentially almost like neutral fueled. And then you have two kinds of obviously uh, retro fueled versions. You have itemless, which is this. These rooms are for itemless retro fueled. And then you have items plus retro fueled, which is you also have access to items. Okay. Uh, this is very important uh, because it gives finally people a chance to try, uh, you know, more stuff uh, aside from, you know, just playing basic itemless which can get uh, boring after a while and essentially if you want to go back if you, if you choose to enter a room and if you want to go back just press select or back uh, if you have a, an Xbox controller and there you go now I'm back again items I don't want to be here anymore select you, you are in a race let's go in a race uh, yeah, anything would be okay. Okay, win a race. I press select and I'm back at the main menu. Okay, that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to actually write a comment down below. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna put every link that you need in order to get access to online CTR. You'll find the link that will allow you to download the launcher itself. You also find the link uh, to enter the official CTR online CTR uh, Discord server. Okay, so be sure to get in if you want to get actually updated when new when new patches actually get released. And uh, I hope you everything was clear. And I'll get you guys in the next video. Bye.